Bonjour à tous and welcome to French for a day. This is my little corner on YouTube where I'm sharing with you my French beauty secrets. I post a new video every Saturday. Today we're talking about 10 wardrobe essentials for French style and Parisian chic. French are known for their impeccable style. They always choose quality over quantity. If a garment no longer flatters a French woman, she's going to remove it from her closet. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 timeless pieces that are going to help you to master the French style. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to choose the perfect pieces for your wardrobe the French way. Number one, little black dress that doesn't have to be little. The perfect black dress is one that you can wear equally successful in the office and for a night out. This is this piece in your wardrobe that you can wear when you don't know what to wear. You can always go ahead and wear this little black dress that doesn't have to be little, as we already mentioned, and it's always going to look perfect and it's going to save you. The cut of your black dress should flatter your body shape. It shouldn't be too short or too long and you should feel comfortable while wearing it. Number two, a striped top. This is one of the most classic pieces in a French wardrobe. It's also known as la marinière and it comes from the sailors. This is a top with white and navy blue horizontal stripes, but it comes in all different colors. It can be black and white, beige and black. My favorite one is beige and black because it gives me a more sophisticated look, but you can choose one that fits your style or you can have plenty of those. Add a bit of red lipstick and voila, a tailored blazer is a piece that will make any outfit instantly look more elevated and put together. This is one piece that goes with anything, with a t-shirt, jeans, dress, skirt. It can be dressed up or you can make it look more casual. Number four, a trench coat with a perfect fit. Here you should choose carefully because if you choose the right trench coat, it can serve you for years to come. I would advise you to go for a neutral color or black depending on your style. If you're choosing a neutral color trench coat, be sure to keep in mind your skin tone and your skin tone in the winter. Choose a neutral color that is going to complement your skin tone during the winter months when your skin is going to be a little bit paler because usually you're going to wear the trench coat in the fall winter months and early spring and this is the time when your skin is going to be paler that's why there are varieties of neutral colors when it comes to trench coats because you should preferably you should choose a trench coat that is going to look good on your skin tone Another tip that I have for choosing the perfect trench coat, make sure that it looks good on you when buttoned and when unbuttoned, because some trench coats are only going to look good and flattering only if they are buttoned. These are usually going to be the double-breasted ones. If you choose it correctly, a good trench coat is going to be your best friend because it's going to make you look taller, slimmer. And here I want to invite all English girls to leave me a comment because no one wears a trench coat better than English girls. They master the trench coat. So share with us in the comments your tips on choosing the perfect trench coat. My favorite brand for trench coats is Burberry. I know it's an investment, but they last for years. If you choose the right one, as I said, you can wear it for years to come. Dark blue jeans. I would stay away from bleached jeans because they are not as durable as dark blue jeans. And another tip that I have for you when choosing the perfect pair of jeans is choose the right size for you. Usually people feel tempted to go a size smaller considering that they're going to lose weight, I would say choose exactly the size that you feel comfortable with because life always takes turns and sometimes you might not lose the weight that you were expecting and these jeans are going to just stay in the closet. They're not going to be used. Then when you lose weight, you're just going to buy another pair of jeans, but make sure to get the right size for you because that's how they are going to look flattering. If you choose a smaller size, they are going to be too tight and they're not going to look flattering on your legs um, and on your hips. So chances are that you're not going to wear them. 
a crisp white shirt. This is a piece that is not reserved only for the office, but it's also worn in the weekends. It's always very stylish, very classic, and you can wear it with a pair of trousers, you can wear it with jeans, with skirt, and you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can make it look more casual, and you can make it look more formal. So it's always a good idea to have a crisp white shirt in your closet that is going to look good on you and that is going to make you feel comfortable. So when in doubt, you can always go ahead and wear your crisp white shirt with blue jeans, ballerina flats, and there you have it, the Parisian chic. Number eight is going to be very suitable for the winter season. And this is a good turtleneck sweater in a neutral color. The neutral color is going to complement your skin tone beautifully. Plus, it's very comfortable to have a good turtleneck sweater for the winter. Just make sure that you feel comfortable while wearing it and just make sure to choose high quality material that is not going to bother your neck. I know that some people don't like to wear this kind of sweater. I think that it looks very elegant, but still, think whether you can wear this kind of sweater or not. And if you can't, just skip this one. A beautiful scarf is a must have here. Again, this is a piece where I would invest a little bit more money and I would usually advise you to have one for the spring and fall season and one that is going to be a little bit bigger, more cozy and more warm for the winter months. These are pieces in your wardrobe that you can wear over the years. They always add a touch of French chic to your outfit. And I would like to emphasize especially on the spring scarves because I don't see many people wearing scarves in the spring. However, it looks very elegant. It can instantly elevate your whole look. And if you feel too hot, you can just go ahead and tie the scarf to your handbag. And this is going to be an extra touch to your handbag, like a little accessory of your handbag ballerina flats or alternatively loafers that you can wear with jeans, with trousers and with a dress are going to be the perfect solution if you live in the city. I believe that most French women own a pair of ballerina flats. They are very stylish, they are girly and they can be dressed up or dressed down. And it's very easy to walk in those shoes because usually in the big cities in France, you have a lot of walking to do, especially if we are talking about Paris. Sometimes you're going to walk for miles the whole day and you're going to walk a lot in the metro station, you have a lot of stairs, you have to go up, you have to go down, so you need a pair of comfortable shoes. And last but not least, a handbag that is going to reflect your lifestyle. So this handbag, ideally, this is a handbag that you can use during the day and you can use in the evening as well. However, depending on your lifestyle, you might want to have two handbags, one that is going to be for a night out and one that is going to be for during the day. If you need to carry a lot of things with you during the day, let's say if you need to carry your laptop and if you have a lot of things, that's why I said that choose Choosing the handbag depends on your lifestyle. So ideally, you're going to be able to choose one handbag that is going to work for everything. So this is a piece where you should invest a little bit more money because if you do so, you're going to find a durable handbag that you can use for years to come. And it's usually hard to choose the perfect handbag. So here, make sure to choose carefully and depending on your needs. But a beautiful and comfortable handbag is definitely a must. So here, you should look about a handbag that is, that is going to be comfortable and that is going to look elegant and is going to fit your whole style. So I would stay away from bright colors because you can't always style them easily. And this is, let's say, if you don't have one handbag, if you're lucky enough to be able to afford a few handbags, then go for a more extravagant design or for a more extravagant color. But if you're only going to have one handbag, I would go for a neutral color that you can use with anything. And finally, I have a few shopping tips for you that always work. These are French shopping tips. So number one is think about your style. When you're choosing a garment, whether it's going to be a dress, a shirt, jeans, whatever you want to buy, the first question that you have to ask yourself is, is this piece going to 
fit my overall style and am I going to feel comfortable wearing it? Because let's say I'm saying that the little black dress, the black dress is the number one piece that I recommended in this video. However, there are people that would never ever wear a dress. They just don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. So just skip this one. If you know for sure that this is not your style and if you know that you're not going to wear a piece, then just skip it and don't buy it. Another question that I have for you, usually when we go shopping, we feel very tempted, we feel very excited. So don't get the excitement take over you, take over your brain, let's say. So ask yourself the question, are you going to wear this piece on a regular basis? Or this is this some kind of a temporary fashion that you're not going to be able to wear tomorrow? Let's say you see the perfect dress, it looks so beautiful but it's this bright color or it's this kind of extravagant cut that you can only wear for a cocktail party. And let's say that you don't have a lot of cocktails parties to attend to. Let's say that you are attending one cocktail party per year. Then I would say better skip this dress and buy something that is going to be a little bit more durable, buy something that you're going to wear more often and some kind of a more timeless piece, more timeless dress that you're going to be able to wear more often and more regularly because otherwise you're just spending money and if a dress stays in your wardrobe and you're not wearing it that often then I don't think that this money are well spent. So these were my most important French shopping tips. I can't wait to read your comments. I can't wait to communicate with you. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I would like to ask you to share with me one garment, one piece of clothing that you purchased and that you were wearing a lot. So what are some timeless pieces in your wardrobe? This is a question to everyone. Let's share and let's learn from each other. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this. It could be something that you purchased many years ago and you still wear. Just let me know what are some of the timeless pieces in your wardrobe. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye.